welcome to my kitchen. We have lived in this house for 20 years and it was finally my turn to get my kitchen renovation done. I'm so excited to show you what we have done. So our previous kitchen was a builder basic kitchen. It was 20 years old. There were no special materials or finishes in it. It was time for a change and I'm so happy that finally I have a chance to really showcase my talents and my approach to interior design. But we kept the working triangle. It worked great in the previous kitchen, so we kept the same. However, what we did change was we took out the bulkheads that were above the kitchen cabinetry as well as the return wall at the end of the cabinetry. And we wanted more surface to prep on, to bake on, to roll dough on. So we decided to go with a kitchen island instead of a table. And we made the kitchen island a gathering island as well. So it's not only a functional prep space, but it is an area where we can sit around as well. So I wanted the kitchen to be true to the Orsi Panos aesthetic. There is a certain vibe that I tend to design for my clients and I wanted to repeat the same for my own kitchen as well. So it's light and bright. There's a little bit of a European influence here. It feels modern, but at the same time, it's warm as well. I didn't want this kitchen to feel too formal, yet too casual as well, but I wanted it to feel approachable. So I chose the beautiful Blanco unit with a farmhouse style sink. The Blanco sink is in coal black finish. Stainless steel scratches over time, I find. And the silk granite is such a wonderful material. It's easy to clean, it doesn't scratch, it's really easy to maintain, and it feels so good. It feels like natural stone when I touch it. I love it. What I love about the Vintera sink is that it's only six and a half inches on the profile, and then it's nine inches deep on the inside, so I can easily fit a pot in and wash it, but it just looks sleeker on the outside. We chose the Catrus faucet because it is a gooseneck style, which I love, and I also like the fact that it has a flexible black hose, so I can really rinse out my dishes and my sink. It's just perfect. Three key components of sink, faucet, and accessories by Blanco create one seamless solution in the kitchen. I've always wanted to experiment with natural materials in my clients' kitchens, and there's often hesitation about using natural marble as a countertop. So we splurged and went for a beautiful marble on the kitchen island, as well as we repeated that same material on the hood. So we cladded the hood in that beautiful marble. And then on the perimeter countertops, we used a contrasting material. It is a quartz and it is almost black. And that was because we have a beautiful farm style sink that is in the black and I wanted to create a seamless look. The Builder Basic Kitchen also lacked lighting. Now we have amazing layered lighting, which I'm so happy about. So we have pot lights throughout. We have a wall sconce over the window. We have under cabinet lighting, as well as we have two flush mounts over the island. To me, it's just more modern and more minimal versus having two pendants. This island is so beautiful. It's so shapely. It really is the focal point, and I really wanted that to be the star of the show in this kitchen. We changed the flooring. Now we have beautiful large format tiles. We also wanted to bring in a little bit of warmth with the backsplash. So instead of a white typical tile, we went with something that brings in a sense of warmth and a more of a taupey shade. We mixed many elements in this kitchen, one being the metals. So we have a little bit of black with brass and then there's stainless steel. One of the other elements that we mixed is the profiles on the countertops. So on the island, we have a beautiful traditional OG edging. To me, it's just so special. And then we went with a sleeker three quarter inch on the perimeter countertop. So it's a little bit more modern and I really love that layered look. It's not a big kitchen, but I took my time to implement as much storage as possible. Uh, we went with lots and lots of drawers. We have a pull-out pantry, which is fantastic. I have a dedicated drawer now for vitamins, which is like next level luxury in my opinion. We have beautiful cutlery drawers. We actually have so much storage that I have a cabinet that is still empty, believe it or not. Instead of open shelving, we did this beautiful upper cabinetry with the glass. So it gives me that open feel that an open shelving would do, but I can still put my plates and my dishware in there and close the doors on it. And to me, that is just great. 
You know, it's interesting, a lot of designers say that it's really difficult for, to design for themselves. I, I find it easy because I dreamt about this for 20 years. Right? I knew exactly what I wanted to do. The only thing is this reno took about eight to nine weeks we ended up tacking on the rest of the main floor. So I have one piece of advice if you're planning to embark on any kind of reno in your house. If you have a chance to move out, do so. It's gonna save your marriage, it's gonna save your life. We didn't, uh, we made it, we're still married. <laughs> but I highly advise you to move out if you can.